Hey everyone, today we're going to do the review on the LG V10 Beyond Cell Trimax case right here. It says 360 degree protection and this is the case right here with the carbon fiber back plate. It, uh, it's called 360 degrees of protection because you have this front piece right here that surrounds pretty much the whole front and the sides of your case so it has a built-in screen protector right here if you guys watched my unboxing you know that I wasn't too let's say I wasn't feeling it I wasn't feeling this case for a little bit I wasn't too happy with it at first but now that I've started using it and I've been using it for the past two days I'm starting to like it. Um, first of all, the one con that I did not like is uh, other than having a little hard time um, putting this case in, it's, uh, it's a very slim case. So let me show you guys compared to, this is my Note 4 with the slimmest, one of the slimmest cases that come with the Note 4. This was the EVE case clear case slimline case that has a built-in uh, kickstand and so far right now I haven't seen any cases or clear cases for the LG V10 that are slim now mind you the V10 on its own is not a slim phone it's built to be durable it has a military like 810G spec which is able to withstand you know a few drops I think it's 10 drops up to three feet it also has these um, stainless steel with what's called 316 L stainless steel sides if you guys are interested in that I'll, I'll put a link on on those uh, military spec and the stainless steel that's built to withstand um, drops better than aluminum if you have an aluminum phone or if you have a phone that has aluminum sides and when you drop your phone and the aluminum sides bend, your screen is going to crack. And that's why LG decided to use these uh, th this th 316 L stainless steel. So that it will withstand the shock of a drop and it doesn't bend. So your screen will be safer and be more protected. Put it this way. Do they make knives or weapons or armor out of steel or out of aluminum? Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. They use 316L for, you know, for for surgical equipment for hospitals and for expensive watches. Um, the one con also I didn't like is this uh, carbon fiber backplate right here. It compared to like say the Tri-Idea that I have for my LG V10. This looks more like a true carbon fiber design like uh let me get my this is my samsung galaxy note 3 apex carbon fiber case this is real genuine carbon fiber and this is the uh tri idea carbon fiber case and this is the um beyond cell carbon fiber case so I'm not really digging this carbon fiber design right here. Now, I know some of you guys are going to knock me f and say something about why I like carbon fiber. I just do. I like carbon fiber, okay? You guys might like another design well, to each their own. Um, the beauty of these clear cases is you can make your own designs. You know, this. Beyond Cell 360 comes with two back plates. It comes with this clear one right here, and then it comes with this uh, carbon fiber design. So that was pretty cool. And um, if you've ever owned like a, a Rinky Fusion here, this is the Rinky Fusion clear case. Check out the review on this also on my channel. You know that the Rinky Fusions have these uh, design it yourself um, cutout. Uh, you can make your own designs and you can pretty much use this design it yourself cut out for these uh, Beyonce back plates also 
So that's pretty cool. Or you can order your own Beyond Cell um, back plate. They have a different, a bunch of different ones. I might order the camouflage ones, and they have a wooden back plate design. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this uh, case is nice in that it's very slim. It's pretty much the slimmest because this one front piece is just a thin layer of like silicone or clear plastic. Um, I still think it's pretty reflective which I didn't like and every now and then you can see the haze and reflectiveness and also I'm gonna turn my screen on and unlock my phone I usually have to set my um, my screen a little bit brighter than normal with when I use this compared to like when I use a different case that don't have the built-in screen protector right now I haven't ordered any screen protectors for this LG V10 just because the V10 like I said it's meant to be durable it's got two layers of Gorilla Glass 4 where most uh, phones only have one layer of, of Gorilla Glass 4 so I didn't feel the need like I, 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 I actually needed another uh, screen protector this is the um, so here's my Note 4 and this also has a, a screen protector on this is the screen protector on this Note 4 is made by Tech 21 it's called Impact Shield so let's compare the the cases hold on so as you can see just going off to the side there's a little bit of haze on this um, screen protector and you guys could see the see what I'm talking about in my unboxing so I have to set up set this up a little bit brighter but like I said um, compared to even the rinky it's a pretty thin case as far I, I have three cases now for this uh, LG V10 the thickest by far is this um, is a try idea case let me pan out real quick am I panned out I am okay so let's go here so here's the thickness comparisons of all three cases pretty much on most of the these cases you can't tell from the sides that much because the sides are pretty tapered the way the only way you could tell the thickness is when you look at them from the top and also once you put the case in and you can see how much space there is right there where the camera cutouts and everything are so yeah it's a very it's a very thin case why am I popping up all these things on here so um, it's very thin and the other cool thing with this um, I've, I've been noticing with this uh, built-in screen protector that it has is that um, it doesn't really attract a lot of smudges or fingerprints which is which is pretty nice the clear back plate this one right here on this uh, for this uh, Trimax case actually collects more fingerprints I don't know if it's showing on the camera it collects more fingerprints than this screen protector built-in screen protector itself so that is pretty cool so that's a I so I'm liking this case I I didn't like it at first and I thought about returning it but I'm starting to like it now and cause, because it's so thin and you're like it's you you have protection at, at, from all sides like it says 360 degree protection you got all the protection you want from the sides these stainless steel sides right here w won't get scratched your case won't get scratched um, I'm not gonna do a drop test if you guys want to see drop test go Google or do a YouTube search and you'll probably see other drop tests but I, I don't like dropping my phone my nice expensive phone so that's it so yeah 
I like this case. It's a pretty good case. I didn't like it at first, but now I'm starting to like it. So that's it. Oh no, other than not having a kickstand and this uh this back cover not being the best carbon fiber design, that's the only knocks I have against it. But like I said, it, it doesn't add extra thickness at all, if any, to the uh to this to, to this uh, LG V10 phone as you can see here on the um, back it's pretty slim even right there where these camera cutouts are compared to your rinky and also the uh, try idea that I have here okay so yeah that's about it um, how is a with the fingerprint scanner it's pretty good you know what I've been discovering with this phone is that with the fingerprint scanner you have to make sure you get the screen woken up first before you um, use your fingerprint scanner so you wake up the screen and then put you know put your finger on the back it's still for people who've been using a note where you're um, your buttons are on the sides you're still it's still a learning process to get used to uh, you know using these back buttons right here so see I have no problem there's no problems unlocking so I w I'll wake it up first one press to wake up the screen and then put your finger scanner there and it wakes it up right there so it's a good case also in that it doesn't it doesn't interfere with the fingerprint scanner it's a very thin case it protects your screen the whole screen you know the whole screen is covered it's got a built-in screen protector and it's very thin and depending on what designs you get you can make the designs your own so it's a good looking design so that's it for the review hope you guys enjoyed this um, if you have any comments let me know and uh, I thank you guys for watching and have a great day.